while we're waiting for Saba, I'll, I'll, let you guys, I'll let you guys all go and introduce yourselves uh, real quick. Well, we can start. We go Louis, Forehead, and then Klein. Introduce yourselves. What characters you play? Uh, let's be honest. You guys are criminals. So you guys all play one character, and it's probably a self-insert. So let's wow. Go. Okay. I am <laughs> Louis. I play SK or Sparky, Man of the Manor. Used to be Mandem, not anymore. Forehead, that's 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 up to you now. That's oh. your cue, bro. That's your cue. Oh yeah, yeah. My name is Forehead. Mm. I, I role play a moron named Forehead. Um, he's part of a group I'd rather not name. Best. Yeah, you should say the name. I think you should. Nah, I'd rather, say I'd, rather not, I'd rather not name the group. I'd... Bro, Wait, so Forehead, Forehead plays Forehead. It's crazy. But who's this little kid? Who? Yo. <laughs> oh. Yo, what? Bro, what? Yo. <laughs> yeah, that is crazy. Bro, I've yeah, never heard, I've never heard your real but... voice. I've yeah, never yeah, yeah Klein, voice it's crazy. You you do a really good voice for uh, for Peanut. Like, hearing you speak uh, without it is, like, kind of crazy. Well, it's, yeah, it's a, it's a voice changer, and then I do a voice, too. So, yeah. Wait, I'm so dumb. By the way, Klein even didn't do his... I don't even know. Klein, wait, for Yeah, Klein, I didn't even let you do your intro. I'm so sorry. Klein, go ahead. Hey, my bad. Uh, my name's Klein, uh play peanut is it and hey, that's my dog okay so peanut. so we have the manor chang gang and besties no hold on do you hey. like when i do you like hey. when I say it like no, that let's relax that's right hey, hey let's hey, relax that's, you know what it is a hey, it's the it's the fuck it's the manor thing yeah and then it's like <laughs> watch your fucking mouth chang gang here and then besties no, that's hey, that's relaxed, guys. No, that's, <laughs> we don't, we don't. I don't think it goes hard. Yeah, I, runs deep. Hmm. I, dude, I listen. I'm telling you, I'm I'm more afraid. Like, if if you're telling me that, like, I've I have conflict with some gang, and you're telling me I have to go against fucking, you know, various like the Marabuntas, the Vagos, Chang Gang, like all these like names. And it's like, or you want to fight the besties? I want to fight the besties, dude. That sounds terrifying. <laughs> Yo, forehead, say it. I am. I am not. Sorry. I haven't heard you say it once. You know, I. Uh, I have. The, I am not. I listen. I don't claim that stuff. You know what I mean? I don't. I don't claim an in character. I don't claim an OC. I don't claim besties. Okay? Can we get? Can we get a slay? <laughs> like, but no. But like, for it. Think about it. Like, part of, and we'll get into this in the podcast. Part of like, you know, the conflict of criminals is is that psychological warfare, right? Like. You know, say I'm on Mickey and, and the company goes to war with fucking uh -huh. Chain Gang, right? And we get clapped by Chain Gang, right? Client on Peanut can be like, yeah, like that's on business. That's Chain Gang shit, right? And I'm like, well, and for me, I'm like, well, I got clapped by Chain Gang, right? Okay, cool. But now imagine I get clapped by the besties and they're like, besties, slay. Like, I'm like, fuck, dude. Like, I just got, you know what I mean? Like, dude, that hurts way more. Yeah, I think you'd be more mad if you get clapped by the besties. Nah, I mean, came up uh, with a name. I get, I get which, uh, but I think it was funny. Uh, honestly, far. Yeah, I mean, I, I props to you guys. That's more. That's more psychological warfare. Um, okay. Well, like most names are cringe, though, right? Like, in the grand scheme of things. Yeah, I can't honestly, think of anyone that's had like a seriously sick name. Oh my god. Okay. Oh no, it's fucked my frame. I need you to turn on your camera. Right now. You know, while we're waiting for Sab to turn on his camera and while the entire scene is messed up, uh cops ruining dude. We're we're trying to have a criminal role play session and the cops ruin that. Um, anyways. Uh <laughs> first first question for all of you, and you guys can go ahead and take turns, is um uh, I know a lot of you guys role play as Crimson 3.0. Um overall, how's uh how's criminal RP been for you guys in 4.0? What's been sort of the highlight? What's been you know, anything that Frustrating. Just your general <clears throat> thoughts on Crim Roleplay in 4.0. Who's first? Yeah, you got it. I, I mean, I feel like at the start, I was a little like, I was struggling to get super into it because of the the, the, the the grind. But I think recently, mm -hmm. it's kind of, everyone's kind of eased off on that a bit. And it's, it's it's been, I've been enjoying it a lot. Like the last couple of weeks, I'd say I've been having the most fun in like the whole of 4.0. Just in general with few different things going on. I feel like the prison stuff, how like Carmine and Bobby been doing that, that's been some cool stuff to to do as well. More RP focused. Yeah, I mean, I think just, uh, I think over time it builds up, right? I feel like uh, the criminal side, it just takes time for things to, uh, 
things to happen, like things to come out, new stuff to do. And the longer you give it, the more stuff there is for criminals to do, you know? But I, I, I've, been, I, I'm, I've been having fun, though, so. Yeah. Was you there for the start of 3.0 for it head or nah? Uh, no. Yeah, nah, me neither. Like mid, so like the, whole, midway. the whole startup thing's new to me as well. I think that's part of the reason why I was finding it a bit grindy. Yeah, it, it definitely feels more more grindy than uh start of three point Yeah. Yeah, I feel like I feel like Krim right now it's a little bit like lacking. But to be honest, it's kind of it's just what you make it, to be honest. You know what I mean? So like mechanic wise there's not much to do. I think there's nothing, but there's not a whole lot of things, but it's like if there's no mechanics around it, you just got to come up with your own robberies or your own type of things or just little things that, you know, haven't been done before. Just be unique with it, I guess. Just have fun with it. I, I, have yeah. a, I mean, before before I hear more from Ford, I have a hot question for you, client. Um, yeah. Because, I mean, so you've been rolling around with, you, you roll a chain gang. And one of the things that is, I think, and, and granted, Ford, I've seen you guys do this uh, with, besties there he is. And, and louis i've seen you guys do it with uh with manner stuff but um yeah one of the things for you klein is uh you guys rob other people uh like a lot and my my thought my question to you is like uh have you is is part of it that like being a criminal in 4.0 feels like a lot like a lot of the stuff when there's no mechanics is robbing other people have you had it like how is it like robbing other people and like do you struggle with that from like a, you know, cause that, I think there's a million more like things that occur when you rob other actual players as opposed to just robbing like, you know, NPCs, the government banks. Like, how has that been for you in 4.0? Like robbing other people? Um, how has it been? Honestly, I feel like robbing other people, you know, I mean, you know how viewers are, but I feel like it, it can create RP. Like I said, it's just, when you when you just base your things around mechanics and all you do is like mechanic robberies and you never do any type of conflict like i mean crime is like any type of rp like for example business rp right business rp is like back and forth of other players if you just do crime in mechanic ways and never rob anybody else or ever, never have any conflict it's just, it just gets boring you know what i mean so I mean, yeah, I just see it as a way of furthering RP. Like, if, you know, if somebody gets wrong, I mean, I just see the way, I see it the way I would react to it, right? If, like, somebody robbed me, I would, you know, further the RP by doing something back, right? Not everybody does that, but I feel like it's a lot better than just basing and just doing mechanics over and over and just doing a jury run again and again and again. You know, because that just gets repetitive and boring. At least when you rob people and you have conflicts like that, it's like things can come out of it. That's not the same exact thing. You know, it's different people, different scenarios. And yeah. So, I mean, I, yeah, it's fine. So why do you keep robbing my turbo? <laughs> okay, that's uh, okay. <laughs> Listen, that, that you, you got, you're asking the wrong person. You know what I mean? That is not, that is not me. I don't know. Uh, additionally, welcome to the podcast, our, our co-host and finally outnumbered by the criminals, uh, Sab, uh, Sab, go ahead and introduce yourself. I apologize for being late. Thanks for having me again, Blau. And, um, my name is Sab. I play as Captain Slacks in the LSPD and, um, I'm excited to be here. Um, okay. Let's, let's, uh, uh let's get into some stuff now that Sab's here. Guys, uh, forehead, Louie, client. Finally, I can like I can have this take because he's outnumbered. Um, okay, <laughs> first of all, fuck the PD and uh, like how how have you guys found uh, the interactions between Krim and uh, Cop in 4.0? Good, bad. What's the good, the bad, the ugly of it? Be honest. Hmm. Be honest. Feel, for the most part, I've been positive. I can't lie. I feel like I've been pretty lucky. Like I haven't really. Like, I can't think off the top of my head of any time I've been fucked over or unhappy with shit but i don't know i feel like i haven't interacted with cops as much as i did in 3.0 so i don't know if i can really say i've seen too much the floor is yours other guys why is there everybody saying forehead is a cop <laughs> yeah, this guy's snitching forehead. this guy is a cop forehead you're a cop <laughs> 
No, no, I'm not, I'm not a cop. I'm not a cop. Okay, why why is everyone saying you're a cop, man? Yo, go ahead for it. Go ahead. Just, yeah, I don't know because you know my character tends to uh, hang out with cops, I guess you know. So that's it. So why did I yeah, even what? invite you on this, man? Fuck. I know you got the wrong guy, but <laughs> no. But I mean, so how how how's it been with the with the PD for you? I mean, whether I'm it's about like, the rep. Yeah, how's your PD rep? Uh, yeah, my PD rep is good. You know, uh, I mean, I think. I've had mainly uh, positive interactions with the police. Uh, I mean, it's mainly good. I mean, yeah, it's, you know, there's obviously certain times, but uh, it's been mainly good to be honest. I don't really, like. I don't think it's uh, been bad. How would you compare it from like three point or four point oh? Well, okay, at the start of four point was a bit different because police would break off. Like, I don't know what it was. Right? I think it's like a fifteen minute chase or something, or like if you were too violent in a chase, it would break off. So for me, that was a bit different. Like I wasn't used to it, but I, feel, I don't think cops do that no more, right? Um. So yeah, in the beginning, because we had so many low numbers, we told ourselves if it's like a misdemeanor chase, don't chase them. Just like you know, write warrants, fall back. But if it's a violent chase, then chase them till the wheels fall off. Yes. Yeah, so, so yeah, back then it was it was very different because uh, like police would break up, but now it's kind of back to what it used to be. You know, the like police will chase you. I think I think that's good. What's the reason it broke off? Was it just because of the numbers? Numbers. And then if the chase is too reckless, right? Sometimes police chases are too reckless to where they cause more damage than they actually do. Especially if it's something so small. If like, if you trespass on a property, like, mm. why should we chase you for like 15 minutes? It's not worth it, right? But if you kill somebody, I'm going to chase you till I catch you. Yeah. Makes sense. All right, what about you, client? Because you've had... You, client, you've now been on the receiving end of uh, what some people affectionately or disaffectionately called 10 cgs so how, how has it been for you uh <clears throat> listen so i've i've experienced both sides i used to have a cop and uh so i've done both sides i know how it is to be a cop and i know how it is to be a crim i'll be honest with you the role play itself like the interactions like talking to the people is good like every time i talk to anybody i mean slacks fucking whoever it is it's always good interactions but there's a lot of times like during crime itself where it gets to the point I, I do get frustrated sometimes you know and this happens to everybody cops crimson it doesn't matter who you are but um i feel like sometimes a lot of things at least you know I, i'm speaking like this because i've experienced it myself right as a cop for example like constant you know i'll give an example like pits right there's nothing wrong with pits itself right but the way i see pits is like the way people do pit maneuvers sometimes is like, and this is the way I think about it is like they spam pit. You know what I mean? Like, and what I mean, what I mean by spam pitting is like, they pitch you once and they fail, and then they go ten seconds again after failing and they do it again, and they fail the pit again, and then after pitting again after ten seconds they do it again, and then they do it again until you're rammed into a corner. You get what I'm saying? So I just feel like certain things like that. It's just again, and I get it. You know what I mean? You're a cop. You're supposed to catch criminals, but it things like that sometimes it gets a little frustrating. But I always I I do understand both sides. Like for example, if you're a cop and you're chasing crims, and then they do constant swaps, or they're fucking getting on bikes, and they're doing all these things, you know, it gets annoying. It's like it gets to a point where it's like, bruh, you know, we've been in this chase for thirty minutes. Like, can we end it? I guess I don't know. So I understand it from both sides. But things like that get a little frustrating sometimes. Also, I feel like, for example, I'll say this. I don't know if you guys know what happened, but there was this case where we kidnapped Kid Archer. Oh, I kidnapped Kid Archer in character. Yeah, I remember that. Off-duty. Yeah, off-duty, I kidnapped her. And basically, the whole RP of it was that Pina was going to make Kid Archer a thug because she was too soft. <laughs> and she's too nice, basically. She's too nice. Right? And everybody, like, uses that against her. So he was going to make her a thug and, like, make her do crime, like... For example, like, uh, lockpick a car or press somebody and shit like that. So we made her lockpick a vehicle, and then we ran from the cops, got away, but we got ID'd. I mean, we even tweeted about it in, in character, and then they tried to hit Pino with seven days and 75,000, right? But for example, shit like that is, like, for a fun RP scenario like that, I feel like cops are not trying to be hit someone with seven days. Like, that's seven days real life like that means streaming seven days in jail and that was before carmine 
and uh, Bobby had the the what's it the called? Prison. The yeah. prison. So that would have been seven days of me sitting in jail doing nothing. You know what I mean? For trying to do a fun RP scenario. I mean, obviously, like, there should be rep repercussions. I'm not saying, like, oh, you know what I mean? Don't hit nobody with anything. But at the same time, I feel like stuff should uh, match the crime at least. Like, seven days for that is crazy. I'm just giving, yeah. Wait, how did you come to the conclusion with seven days? That was on the docket. Oh, that's so that's what they're trying to push for. That was, yeah, they're trying to push for seven days okay. and 75,000, yeah. What did you get? We didn't get seven days. We uh, they did a plea deal. I think they kind of realized because I spoke to like a million people in character about this, and they kind of realized that that was kind of crazy. Seven days for what happened, so they just did they, they kind of understood where I was coming from, and they just gave us a plea deal, which it, it turned out good. But it took over a month, trying to like hassle the cops with it. But yeah, how much time did you get? Can we ask him? How much time was like a hundred? They dropped the human trafficking and just hit like the regular charges. I so see, it was okay. like 120, 100 months and 8,000, I think. That was because they dropped the human trafficking basically completely. Uh, I'm curious, and Forehead, I, I, with that take, Klein, I'm curious, Forehead, Louis, how you feel about this? We talked about this on the DOJ episode. The thing, I, and this is where I feel it should be, is like for serious mm -hmm. shit, where it's like, if you like shot a copper, I would even say for like what you did there, client, like what I would say, like what you had peanut do there. My yeah. thing is like, what, even if it's like more for like sort of fun RP, my sort of thought is like, um, it should be like serious enough that it like goes to the next, I guess, sort of setting of role play, which to me is like one day, right? Like, unless you're like, unless you're like m murdered someone like cartel serial killer whatever you know like some crazy shit my thought is like severe shit like if you like did shoot a bunch of cops or you got caught or like got caught for like what you did i kind of feel like they should like almost like soft cap it at like the the one year sentence like one day so it's like yo it, you know because then it's like almost from the streamer's perspective right it's like yo you did a ton of crazy shit this day this character is now on cooldown for the like you're basically off for the rest of the day and then he can come back and it's like it, it like because i think it then like stops that uh hey i shot 10 cops and then you see me like two hours later it's like wait what so I, but, but i feel like the difference between like a one-year sentence and then like a three-year or a seven-year sentence which you know for the viewers that's like three days or seven days is is crazy right because i mean you're a streamer right like you, you gotta go make content yeah. yeah, I get what you mean. Yeah, uh, I agree with you. Yeah, I agree, but I think maybe more than more than one day is fine. Honestly, three days wouldn't even be like that bad. It just depends. It's just about does it fit the crime? You know what I mean? Three days is fine. Like if you murder someone and kill them, and it's like some good RP out of it, and you get three days, then I mean it's whatever. You know what I mean? It just de it depends if it fits. If it fits, if it makes sense, then why not? I think if the prison yeah. had like its own like eco like say prison was a bit more and like, there was just loads of people there all the time. And they're like, was a good ecosystem inside and lots of RP. I feel like then it'd kind of be different. Like if I got sent in for three years, like three days, and there's constantly stuff going on in prison, I don't think I'd even mind that much. I think it's just when you when you go there and there's you know there's nothing going on there, kind of in a in a way almost like a soft ban because you can't really interact with anyone if there's no one there. But that's why I'm hoping they do that thing that I've seen Coil talking about with the prison because I feel like it's got so much potential and like. It's a different side of RP for criminals, right? Going to prison and trying to run what you've got going on on the outside from the inside. So I kind of hope they do that because in a way, I think it would make it way better when you do go to prison for a long time. Yeah, for, for the reference and just for the viewers, I think is that uh, talking about giving like Bobby and Carmine basically admin menu and letting or like dev menu and letting them just like build stuff like or that, like create he, stuff? He said something about like, uh, like having like a public queue for the prison, right? So that... You could have like what they had on 3.0 right where life has had prior or there was like a separate life for queue so you could just bypass the queue go into the prison so you knew there'd be people there something like that i think is what he was talking about which would fill it up and feel like get the rp going again in there if they did that That's yeah we good... same oh god no, no no i was just saying that was a good idea yeah like lifers bringing lifers back would be amazing honestly but yeah yeah lifers are gonna be basically the public queue and they have to role play with bobby charles and carmine to earn like the way out of it that's sick mm. dude how, how does that how does that affect um 
server numbers like is or is it like because i would say just do a separate instance of the server well the server's not always full their slots are empty right now oh well, there you go even in na yeah oh there's like a cap yeah. right now because it's I think 250 so right yeah damn didn't know okay, that. So, so like how many and how many people how many people are they like looking to like actually have in the prison then I don't know. Uh, I would imagine probably like 15, 20. Thank you. That actually sounds kind of sick. Uh, Forehead Louie, how have you guys, uh, have you guys done any like actual hard time now in 4.0 or like what was the biggest sentence you served in 3.0? I'm curious. Oh, in 3.0? Uh, 30 years for the Sanguine War. Yeah, that's crazy. Like 30 days, 30 days. But was that, I remember that whole thing. Was that, one a little, was that one a little easier though? Because a but it was like solidarity, like a bunch of other people were also in there. Yeah, I mean, like, uh, like so, prison rope was really fun for like a week, you know, because everyone was in there and there's like a lot of shit going on. It's actually, like uh, it was actually uh, like fun to be in prison for a while, you know. But obviously, eventually, it kind of uh, you know, died up a little bit. But it was fun. We had shootouts in there. I think we killed uh, actual justice now. Yeah, you did. <laughs> Damn targeted. Um, what about in four point now? What's the biggest time you or uh, Louis has served? I think I've only done like seventy to one hundred yeah. months max. I haven't been in there yeah. very long. Yeah, only like a hundred months, I think. I spent more time in there breaking in to go RP with Bobby and Carmine than I have been sentenced. To be honest, I would say. I kind of like the fact it's lawless. It kind of adds a bit of a twist to it. It's like a no man's land kind of thing. Well, I mean, that's already sounding like, I, I feel like, um, I don't know. I mean, for context, a lot of people have been asking, like, yo, like when are you guys gonna get like actual criminals on uh, on the podcast? Cause everyone knows I, I role play as a fake criminal. Um, I mean, that's actually kind of true. Like Mickey doesn't really do. Like, You're a cosmetic criminal. Yeah, I'm a cosmetic criminal. Um, <laughs> But I feel like a lot of, and maybe you guys will get, I feel like a lot of the frustrations, but I haven't felt some of these frustrations as a criminal. I feel like a lot of things have actually improved literally in the last like two to three weeks. I think like prisons had better RP. And um, I also just feel like crime actually is starting to become more, uh, not even profitable, but like just more rewarding. But um, I want your guys' take on this. Uh, how has it been trying to like, or I, I at least, Start a 4.0 versus now earning money as a criminal. How does that, how has that role play been for you guys? Uh, uh, my, man, my I just start, always broke. Right, go ahead. No, go on, you go. So, see, at the start, it was kind of rough as a criminal. I don't think, like, I don't think you would make much money as a criminal at the start. I don't know if you guys agree, but uh, I think one of the, what I enjoyed at the start was uh, kind of off topic, right? But what I enjoyed was um, how hard guns were to get. Like, yeah, yeah. I really, I really enjoyed how I really enjoyed how like when somebody did have a gun, it was like a big deal, you know. Like somebody pulled out a gun, I was like, oh shit, you know. Like you got surprised. I really enjoyed that. I liked how slow it was for criminals to like get guns and stuff, you know. Like I really, I think that I thought that was really good. I still feel like it's. Is it not like that now? I still feel like it's guns are pretty rare, especially because it's more, it's more common now because of uh, civilian guns. Uh, like, civilian, the criminal yeah. guns you can't get because the can't hit the crates anymore right but civilian guns like uh, criminals have them so but like they're pretty easy to get now right if you got like yeah, 20k yeah. you can get a civilian gun off someone yeah so most people have gone Sad yeah, I, I, I felt the same like i couldn't really get money at the start i mean even now to be honest i, I feel like if you was like trying to do if you was just focusing mainly on like storylines and like rp and stuff like that you would struggle to be making lots of money at the start because it felt like you kind of needed to commit a lot of time into certain lanes to make money. Now I feel like it's a bit more casual. Like you can just be signed in for roof running, make a bit of money. You can sell some weed, make a bit of money and still have time to go do other stuff. I think it's like, very different now with weed. With yeah. weed, we can make a lot of money with weed. Like weed yeah. right now is yeah. like the number one way to make money for criminals. Yeah. I, mean, I think my, and and I think my complaint, which which again is, is it feels like it's been fixed. But my sort of complaint from the criminal perspective for 4.0 is it felt like you had to be like a civilian to fund being a criminal. 
which like just it just didn't feel right for like a lot of characters. It was like, yo, why is like why especially because it was a continuation of three points like why am i like some hardened gangster like running g6 or like running sanitation when it's like and it's basically like you had to do civilian jobs to fund the criminal work you couldn't do crim jobs to fund the criminal work i don't know i, I, yeah. I feel like it's better i feel like it's better now but i think that's been my biggest frustration uh for a Ooh. while what do you mean by that loud? Because what, what do you expect to do in the beginning as a criminal? Besides like scam people and like raw people, what else do you expect to do? Um, I mean, I, I think even, I think even just like doing like petty, like petty weed stuff or like, dude, honestly, that the fact that they added in a, in a mechanic that was like robbing locals was kind of fun, but like, it didn't give you anything. It does, like $2, it does, right? It gives you like, yeah, yeah. it's like Three, five, $4, dollars, dollars. isn't it? I mean, I, yeah. I, what, I, what was the point of that? Like, why why were criminals trying to rob locals? I never understood that part because you didn't get much. I but if you got caught, point, it's a felony, right? Yeah. Exa I think at one exa point. Yes, exactly, Sam. <laughs> Sam, I think cool. I think that is what is funny is I feel like that has been the major frustration from from crims is exactly that. So I think at one point, you know, when uh, before people had the turf guys figured out, like the bullet guy and the other right, turf guys. Right. People believed, at least I did, so our crew did it. We believed that, like, if you rob the criminals on the turf, the guy would respect you. So we went around robbing, like, for the same thing. That's yeah. why it's happening. Yeah, oh so my same, god! Yeah, so yeah. We went around robbing all the locals to try to get good with the turf guys. All right, that's my answer. Thank you. You couldn't rob G six right at the start, could you? I can't remember. Like when? Oh, no, you could. Very. You could. You could. Yeah, you could. You could, but it was like really, really. Like it was, it was way more profitable to do the run than rob the run. Yeah, right? it was like, like it wasn't worth five to like... ten dollars a bag or something like that. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. The defense would not take it for a lot of money, and also it was very heavy. You had to like do it uh, one at a time because each bag was so heavy. Hmm. Yeah, I remember yeah. that. How often I mean, does that happen in the crim world where one person just spreads a lie and it goes like wildfire? All the time. Yeah, a lot. The yeah. amount of like copium that I've been fed of like you try this to get this, and you just once you have to start. I believe it every time. Dude, the funniest shit was I forgot who would tweet this out, but people would tweet out like after the storm, they'd tweet out like just got like hey wow, just got like some gun uh blueprints from a towing job, and everyone be like, Oh shit, like it was really <laughs> excited. And then people just spam tow to try to figure out if that was true or not. Um yeah. I think I think the worst case of this happening was uh, dry and weed. I don't know if you guys remember that, but there was people saying all types of stuff to dry weed. People hanging it upside down, like so much like oh, yeah, dry and AC's weed. There was so much. Like yeah, there was yeah. so much fake info with dry and weed. Yeah, it was crazy. It was actually all crazy. you needed was the rack, right? That's all you need. <laughs> yeah, you just needed the rack, and that's it. It's crazy. And, and and how, and how do you guys feel about like weed in like 4.0 compared to 3.0? How you'd have to have it actually inside a property. It needs to be water. It needs to be and have like a fan. It needs to be dried. It's more realistic than it used to be, right? Oh, I think so it's much really cool power. right now. The way, yeah, the yeah. way like the recent update, like a few days ago, I think happened. It is, it is, it is very cool. A lot better now, yeah. Mm. Yeah, yeah, it's I, changed the game. Like for people who like doing that, I feel like meth was always that thing, right? You could like sink into it. It's all very like working out the maths and stuff like that. Now the weed people kind of get the same experience of yeah, but the old map is like very like seat. minuscule compared to now, right? Like, it's like way more yeah. complicated now. Yeah, right. Because yeah. from the cops' perspective, we've seen like four different kind of uh, different kind of weeds, and then like six different kind of strains. So it's getting really deep. Yeah. Yeah. It's a lot different now than it was before. And I'll be honest though. I feel like the main the main problem. It's a lot better now, but the main problem when crime started not started, but like maybe the first month or two. It's just uh, it's more like the, the mainly frustrating part was the process. It wasn't about like necessarily how much it paid, but it was just about the fact that if you rob something, then you had to get jewelry. You had to go sell the AC parts, for example, get the jewelry. Then you would have to try to do the jewelry run, which I think I did five runs and they're all scuffed. So you would do the runs, you have to do the run, and then you have to get the dirty money. Then you have to clean the dirty money, and then you have to run the dirty money, like the wash money. You know what I mean, so the problem with crime is just how many steps it was. There's just like a million steps for you to make 500 bucks compared to a guy that was doing G6 and making 10,000 an hour. You know what I mean? Yeah, but see, I think mm -hmm. the point with that was though, is that not, you shouldn't like, 
I think uh, the way I looked at it is like, it's not meant to be done by yourself. There's too many steps to do by yourself. It's supposed to be like, you know, you have a crew and people in your crew do one thing and then do another thing, right? Like somebody washes the money, somebody gets the AC pod, somebody does the jewelry run. I think it's supposed to be like steps for everyone to do. Right? I guess the way I looked at it at least. Yeah, but even then though, I mean, you have what guy that does solo G6, not a care in the world about the money and just makes 10,000 an hour, you know what I mean? So it's like, I get what you mean, but you know, I feel like, I mean, isn't the whole point of crime, isn't the point of doing crime is because it's, it pays more than like, I think yeah, that's I the point agree, of crime, right? That it pays more I, than civilian jobs. So you turn to the crime life, but if the civilian life pays you way more than the crime life pays you, what's the point of being a criminal? It should be, no, no, no. For, for me, in my, in my opinion, and I'll give you my perspective, crim should be easy money. Civ should be hard money, but Civ should be a lot easier to earn that money over time versus crim because of the risk of being crim. Yeah, but like, okay, so uh, I'm, this is, this has been my, like, uh, this is my new, like, giga take on this that is probably just a horrible take that I'll get flamed for. My thought has been this. Um, I think crim, like, it sucks, but like, I think crim, like, almost has to just be like shit pay or like shit process. Like, but, like, and, and hear me out for Louis Klein, but I think it's like, it's basically, G6 is the easiest way to get, like, if you want to just maximize getting money, yeah, you just run G6. If you want to do crime, mm -hmm. like, you're not going to get paid anything. You, like, this is the weird taste. You basically get paid in content in that you get a role play being a criminal and not doing G6. What uh, if you don't stream, though? What do you get paid in? True. I would, I, I, I'm going to be, I, I'm, <laughs> yeah, I'm, listen, listen, I, I, and, and here's where the take gets weird. It's like, if you're, uh, and, and, and again, it's like, you know, like garbage take, but it's like, I'm not saying whether it is, good a good system or a bad system i'm just saying this is how i see it because my thought is if crim actually paid really well then everyone would just be a crim that, that is true but it should be difficult to get into the bear of entry as you go higher and higher should be much 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 more difficult because you need to invest more money like being a criminal requires investment that's why you need another job on top right it also yeah, drives I mean, you to be a crim now as well right because if you get a felony you can't work certain jobs so if you're committing crime once you kind of can't really turn back at that point i know that's not for everything but g6 at least you get fired and then at that point you kind of have to commit to being a criminal yeah, yeah. Well, I, I, I mean it's basically like i feel like if everyone like if if crime actually did pay well everyone would just make their characters being crims and it's like so so like let me put you this that's way what happened to 3.0 right yeah i, I, I mean like he, here's the thing and like you have character, you know, like, sure, like, characters like, I'll be honest, like, characters like Peanut, SK, Forehead, and even Mickey, like, they, they don't have near, like, there are probably G6 runners who have just way more money than us, who have not had any, like, real risk in it. Or but the, re yeah. the reality is, like, I do feel like 4.0 actually has a good split of, like, a lot of people who are just civilians. Because they're like, I just want to earn money and just do this shit. Whereas, like, I feel as, as soon as you balance and tip more pay towards being a criminal like bro it's gta why would like at the end of the day like why would i not just want to be a crit it's more fun frankly <laughs> okay 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 L let me ask you this this is a hot take okay would you rather have cops and robbers in the server than you know cops some criminals and a lot of grinders mm. i'll take cops and robbers Define grinders. Yeah, doing mean, do, do, doing group six jobs and grime all the time. That, that's what their function. Uh, like they're just. I mean, I, I would money prefer that. Though. I would prefer that because I think it's good that they have an incentive to you know do do that. Because I mean, somebody running a group six truck, and then a, a, a crew setting up a robbery on them and planning stuff is also role play, right? Like someone has to do that part of the role play, and their their incentive is to make money. So someone has to be doing the group six runs and stuff, you know. Hmm. That's the way I see it. Okay, uh, how come we have not seen, like, you know in the trailer uh, for 4.0? You see, like, that big-ass Tier 3 truck being chased down by, like, a gauntlet? How come we yeah. don't see more of that happening? I think like, it's I financially like, worth it, is it? Mean, like, I feel like, like it does happen. Fine. Does it? You it, mean, like, big, it's like, big plans and stuff like that? Yeah, like, Rather yeah. than just hitting them on a random one, it's just, like, a right. big planned out high yeah, style like, type thing. Yeah, like, high type of thing. It's just, like, ambush and things like that. Oh, he doesn't know for it. He doesn't know. 
You know what I'm saying? Hmm. Yeah, yeah, I mean, we, it, we've done it a few times. Yeah, we, 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 and, we've uh, done it. Friend. Yeah, we've done it a few times. But I mean, I get what you mean. Not, it doesn't happen like that mostly. It just happens like pull up on them when they're stopped and, you know. But you mean like, you know, just heist basically on G6 trucks? Mm-hmm. I feel like, listen, I have a hot take, but I feel like you shouldn't even be able to do tier three unless you have four people with you and you can do it with four people and you have guns and radios. Because I just feel like, bro, I've literally seen people doing tier three jobs with just knives, right? Solo, I mean, not solo, like duo with nothing on them. And it's like the whole RP of being G6 is like you're protecting the money. You're a security guard. Like if I was doing G6 and that's all I did, I would... You know, I would have four people, radios, guns. I would be doing it like it's a fucking, like, real-life job. Like, we're protecting this money. You know, we got people staking out. Like, if you try to rob us, we're going to shoot you. You get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So it's like, I feel like you shouldn't even be able, allowed to do Tier 3 unless you got four people and you have guns and radios and stuff like that. Because that's what makes sense, right? Now, if you're doing Tier 1 or 2, Tier 1 should be, like, solo or duo. And then Tier 2 should be, like, two or three people. And it's, no, you know... What's up? Go ahead, go ahead. But yeah, I mean, I just think there should be like, that's just the way I see it. Like, if I did G6 all the time, that's just, you know, I feel like that'd be good RP. Like, if you just I, did I it like that. I kind of like that. You yeah, I mean, I mean, it makes sense, right? From the RP side, like, you wouldn't do, yeah. you would be protecting the money. It feels like, here's the thing. It feels like nobody cares about getting robbed or shot, right? Like, for example, if you were G6 and you get robbed, like, what are you really losing? You're just losing a few bags. You just go cancel the job and do it again. Like, you're not actually losing anything. You get what I mean? You know, it'd be kind of like, cool to see. Yeah. If um, So I think one of the main reasons it doesn't happen much is because people don't see as as it being worth robbing, right? I, I mean, I think it would be kind of cool. I kind of agree with a uh, client. Let's say the only time you could do a tier three run is if you had a, four people with you armed up. And if maybe criminals... On the PC, had like a PD scan up or something, and they'll be kind of like scanning, right? They'll be kind of like, like you guys remember boosting back in the day, right? Like, well, kinda, the like radar scanning. almost. Yeah, yeah. They would like kind of send on a radar, and whenever like one of these trucks would go out, it would be high. Like those those guys in that truck would make a lot of money, right? Be high stakes, and yeah. one crew would get like a get the job, kind of like an S plus boost back in the day, right? Mm -hmm. And then they would then go and set up a plan on the truck. And I think that'd be kind of cool if if it worked like that, and it would be like a high stakes job for the civilians too right because they make a lot of money if they did it, if they actually do the job well what would yeah. be pretty cool too as well for like g6 is as you progress as a criminal you get a lot of unlocks right imagine as a save g6 you unlock like you know a gun for the job where you can only use it for the job and maybe it can expire so fast to where if somebody robs it it's only gone for like a day and then it becomes rust afterwards right and that way you can use it for the job you get like maybe like a baton a radio a panic button things like that to help you so as you, as you progress, progress as, as a save in group six you're unlocking things to protect you as well. And also as a criminal, you have to think about that too as well, right? So it works on both sides. Yeah, I. by the mm. way, I, I think I agree with all the takes here. And client, I think yours is really good. And it touched on this idea where it's like, like I said, I actually do think that like, as a, it's like a weird OOC thing, but it's almost to like get the good split of like crims versus civilians. The civilian jobs need to pay more or like in sort of like a safer way. But I love this idea that you're saying where it's like, well, I think it's two things you said. One is like, it does feel like the way civilian jobs are, you can just spam them. And it feels like yeah. robbing the civil, like, cause, cause again, it's like the reason why we want the civilian jobs to pay more is like, okay, people do the civilian jobs. So it's like, well, now the crims are supposed to actually rob the civs and it doesn't feel impactful. And and like, I think I've seen from you, from you client, like you got, you've gone around and robbed civilians. And it's almost like, it feels like it's like, it's like you mildly inconvenienced their day. And that's like it. It's not like it doesn't feel like impactful in RP. So I almost wish that the civilian jobs kept the like average pay per like day or week. But the times when they do the jobs are way more impactful. And like instead of like, yeah, like five G6 or however many G6 runs a day, it's like you only maybe have like one every like day or two. And it's a big impact thing. So if you get robbed on it, it's a big deal. Um. Mm. I think like I think maybe that's kind of it for like all the civilian. It's like it feels like we need to have less spamming of jobs and more. You do a job, it's more impactful, but that means that if it gets robbed, it's more impactful too. 
you think if yeah. you had it that if the civilians on the job while doing the job if they get robbed when they go back to the guy they lose rep because the guy's annoyed at him he's like you've just lost a bunch of money that would make and a then... lot of people quit though because you think uh, yeah absolutely because they'll just blame it on the person who robbed him and then be like you know what i'm done yeah yeah I, I work so hard to do this i get robbed screw this screw that and just complain and leave it happens too many times and then yeah yeah, yeah. i see that yeah, yeah. I mean, listen, at the same time, like, you don't want to fuck people over by just robbing them and, like, making them lose everything, right? But at yeah. the same time, at least you got to act like, like, if I, I'm just seeing it from my side, right? Like, if I work G6 all day, like, even if you don't lose anything when you get robbed, right? Because all they're taking is the bags, you could just quit the job and do it again. At least act like you are. You get what I'm saying? Like, so that's why I'm saying do the jobs for deep guns, radios. Even if even if all I take is your bags and you don't lose anything, at least act like you are losing something or something is happening or like you got to protect the money with your life or something. Because in real life, I mean, that's how they do it, right? They have bring trucks moving money. They have people. They have guns. Like they're protecting the money. Like you know what I mean? Like the security guards. Like basically. Bro, so, I mean, I, I would. Yeah, dude, I I'm with you, Clement. I would love if like the t if the true tier three runs. I wish that they pay. I wish that you did a tier three run like as a civ, like only maybe once a day or once every other day and it pays you a fuck ton like you're set you get your money and then you can just role play and chill and not have to grind but when you do that job you have to set up for that job like we have to set up for yeah it's, it's basically you're setting up like a defense plan yeah exactly. whereas we're and then and then and then the crims are like we're like we want to fucking rob that shit and if we hit that lick all of a sudden it's big for us you know oh man that'd be yeah. sick yeah, the yeah that would be cool the group six needs to affect the economy, and, and that would have another impact to it, to where people actually give a shit. If it affected the economy, and imagine our cash was those those pallets, and if he didn't make it on time, we lost money. Maybe maybe we're all, maybe you gotta buy, buy like money insurance or something. That if you uh, group six constantly loses money, you you lose your money in the actual bank accounts. You actually give a shit about what's go what's going on, and you want to do something about it. I don't know. I'm just thinking of ways that would actually get people involved. Yeah. Hmm. I think it's about having something to lose, isn't it? Because yeah. they know they can just can't, like go back to the hub and go again. Yeah, right. but, yeah, but it's like, even if you have nothing to lose, that's fine. Like, even if all you lose is the bags, it's just, I feel like, you know, at least you should role play it out. Like, yeah, you know, you're protecting the money. Like, with, you know what I mean? Like, it's fine if you don't lose it. I mean, like, I, at the same time, like I, like I said, I don't want to fuck people over. And like, I don't, you know what it is? Like, you don't want to rob somebody and take like five hours from their day. And they're like, you know, you don't want to make anybody like, upset and like ruin their fucking day but at the same time at least role play it out i like just act like you're a security guard i don't know when you rob people it's the ultimate rp check in my opinion oh, what'd you say i said when you rob somebody it's like the ultimate rp check you get to know them pretty well right because conflict is the best way you can know somebody in role play yeah if they act scared yeah. if like they even care some people are just like i don't give a fuck like that's fine bro take the bags I like, bro right. bro the people the best is <laughs> dude, the classic you go and rob someone and they're like and it's like really <laughs> you're doing yeah. this right now and it's like oh, man. i I, I, would, I would talk to my chat about this i'm like man like how the fuck would i react if someone like pulled a gun on me in la like I'd fucking piss my pants. I'd be a little bitch, dude. Like, meanwhile, I feel like people get pulled a gun on them and they're like, Real, uh, wow, you're doing this again? Really? And it's like, I, think I haven't seen a gun before. Like, yeah. Hold yeah. on, I'm in the head right now. Give me a second. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> I do yeah. think guns in general, uh, this might be a, I don't even think it's really a hot take, but I feel like guns in general aren't as feared as they was maybe previously like, I, I don't know it feels like for me at least like you're waving a gun around it's not as big of a deal as it felt like it used to be in 3.0 maybe Bro, i don't know why I, though i think i think that if you hold someone up and they don't put up their hands and you shoot them it should be like a forced icu not forced perma i think i think it should be a forced icu i i forgot who had this take where they were like that's wild uh, no, I, I think so. I, 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 no, I'm you serious. You see a lot of people in beds, man. <laughs> yeah. I, my, my problem is that they can get weaponized, though, right? That's the fear, right? Bro, I'm sorry, but if someone points a gun at you, you, you like, I, it gets weaponized, but it's like, I, I think, I think people, I know we're not, we don't perma characters, but people need to act like they can die. 
I think as soon as people stop acting like they can die is when we get this weird shit of people not caring about getting robbed. Uh, people like, you know, I, you know I'll, I'll even, I'm even going to throw some flowers over to, like, to, to Louis. I think that the way, and, and actually Klein mm. too, I think that the way the manner and chain gang war played out, it felt like characters were actually scared of fucking consequences. Like that whole conflict felt like both parties had, a, were like thinking about consequences in that. And like the way Louis like role played the manner was like, they were fucking scared of consequences. Um, I feel like, mm. I, man, like it's like classic, like you get fucking shot up and then like all of a sudden, like five minutes later, you're at the hospital, like tweeting out like that's, I don't know. If you're on the ground, you're in no position to negotiate really, right? Like at that point you should see it as my life is in their hands. Yeah. I'm on the floor bleeding. I've got someone here with, with a gun. Like you kind of got to, if they're pitching you something, you kind of got to take it. Like you're, you're back to... against the wall. <laughs> I mean, I mean, sad. it's a forehead client. How often do you guys like, how often do you guys hold up someone and then Louis do too. Cause I, I don't really do this on Mickey. How often do you guys hold up someone and they're like, it, it feels like they're more like mildly annoyed as opposed to, Oh shit. A bullet could go through my head and kill me. Mm, I wouldn't say it's like a hundred, you know, it's not always, but I would say there's it's like a good percentage of people that seem like just annoyed. You know what I mean? Like I'm, I get a lot of that really, but I mean, I kind of, the problem is, is that it's so many groups doing crime and like robbing. So it's like they're getting robbed by different groups constantly. So I can get it. I can get it. I can understand it from people's point of view. It can get annoying. But at the same time, you know, it's still a role play server. If you're getting robbed doing sanitation, then switch it up. Do something else. You know what I mean? So I can get people annoyed, but at the same time, it's just like, it's just weird to be like, oh, really? A gun, you know. So, but yeah, it happens happens often. Sometimes it just depends. I mean, I agree with that. Mm. I think like, I think a lot of people, like especially the group six guys, like the sort of four point oh, like would get robbed like three or four times a day. You know, eventually, they're like, uh, you know, it's another robbery. I think I feel yeah. like when it happens so often, they just kind of just brush it off. You know, that's why it's like uh, I feel like if you make plans, I remember me and Klein robbed this one guy, and he was like. Full on like oh, roping shit himself. Yeah, that guy and was we, good. <laughs> that guy was yeah, good. Yeah, like we spiked his group six truck and we robbed him and he actually like really like <laughs> <He> spiked it. <laughs> no, he dude, that guy sh I think he shit himself in real life. That's how good he role played it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, so I'll be honest. That dude <laughs> shit himself. Like he was like scared. Like he was shake he was probably shaking. I don't know. Who was it? Who uh, was it? <laughs> I don't know. It's just a random dude doing G6. Uh, I definitely I definitely feel like it goes both ways, right? If you put more effort into like the way you rob them, yeah. And it's, and they they'll just yeah. get the same robbery like the fourth time in the same day, then you know what I mean? I, I think I think it goes both ways. It's a give and take, yeah. right? Yeah, exactly. I feel like senior buns suffered from that because those guys oh. was getting robbed so frequently that every time you'd even go in there, they, they, I don't know, it just seemed like people was almost just putting their receipts on the floor. Like, here you go. We know what's coming. I, I can kind of, I, I also can kind of understand the like, oh, fuck, I'm getting robbed again. I, I can understand that. Like, because mm. now I'm like, I'm thinking like, okay, well, what if I was in LA and like, it's like, you know, my third time getting robbed that week. I mean, eventually I probably wouldn't be, I'd be like, well, fuck. Oh, I carry $20 on You get on numb me. to it. Yeah, yeah, so. How do you guys, I'm, I'm curious, how do you guys react uh, when you get, uh, have you have, have you guys been robbed in 4.0? Has someone robbed your character? Uh, I think so, probably. I can't fully remember, but I would say so. Yeah, I, I mean, I, I got robbed for a gun, you know, so. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Oh, but you were, yeah, you, were you, know. like, you were shot well, up, the right? The PD gunner. Yeah, I remember that actually. No, no, no. It's different. I was at this hunting place basically, and I was just chilling, and then just got shot and robbed. You know what I mean? God, who would do that? That sounds fucked up. <laughs> yeah, pretty fucked up, honestly. <laughs> um. Oh yeah, I got my phone robbed. That's. I, I, it was early on. I was doing gram, probably like week two. I was doing a gram run. These two guys blacked out, ran up to me and uh, robbed me of nothing but my SIM card. I never saw them ever again. 
That, that was all it was. I lost my SIM card. I never got it back. Oh, actually, I got robbed for a gun again from Speedy a long time ago. I think it was like sort of 4.0. Wait, was it a gun? I think it was a gun, yeah. I got robbed for a gun by Speedy a long time ago, and that's when, when guns were like super rare. What do you guys think about the SIM card robberies? Because I feel like you could really ruin someone's day if you take a whole ass SIM oh, card. Oh, yeah. That shit is so... If you, think... if you lose that SIM card, it's long. I don't but... know. I think SIM card robbery should like... I think you should only take a SIM card if like... It somehow makes sense to take it, you know? That's the way I look at it. A lot um, of sense, yeah. I, I, wanted, yeah. I wanted to have Mickey do a like... Because it's like in character for Mickey because he's kind of like organized crime organized chaos i want him to basically make like a a fucking like criminal geneva convention that's basically like okay if you rob a sim card you have to like return it like you have to like go dump it in a dumpster like i don't know a day later as like a sign of respect right because i actually do think sim card robbery has cool rp because you can read text get information but it's like it's basically like, I'm not going to fucking grief you of a dude. I, and I've never had my SIM card robbed and I fucking hate SIM card robberies because I'm a phone Andy trying to call a million people at OTT two OTT three. I've got like yeah. five different numbers for people. <laughs> like, yeah, I hate I like that. You shit. Take it for a period of time to like do some sort of RP with it. As long as it's like a way you leave it open-ended so they can get it back somehow like in the story. I think that's fine. But it's just when you never see them again and you go get another number. But I like the risk behind it, though, right? You have to think about, okay, my phone, if it has all the information, if I talk to the cops, if I even talk to so-and-so, and that gets stolen, it's over. It's over, right? So I like the risk behind it and making sure they're going to be basically protect, protect your information and not say everything through text. Mm. Yeah. I, so like I said, I think stealing, it's fine. There's good RP in that. I, I, it's like it's literally like an OOC, like annoyance. They're like, just fucking give it. Like, I'm going to be honest, dude. Like, I wouldn't give a fuck. I have a, uh, maybe my other take is this if I could just recreate the fucking contacts and still have the same number then it's fine because I'm sorry man like I, this maybe it's my own IRL trauma but man when I was a kid I used to lose my phone all the time and I have to fucking do, redo contacts before there's iCloud and all that shit I hate that like I'm sorry man I'm what, trying to fucking what play if there's GTA an option, but... just, what if there's an option to do contacts and you, you can export them out right yeah, that'd, so be, that'd, that'd be cool perfect that yeah. solves it for me so I don't, I don't, think, I don't think, think like RP can come from it like stealing someone's phone like, uh, we stole, uh, Mary Mushkin's phone and that's how we found out she was like, uh, texting pictures to like the police and stuff, you know? Mm. Ooh. So I think like there definitely is, uh, times when taking someone's phone can like be a good thing. Yeah. It'd be kind of cool if you could get like a find my iPhone style app. So imagine you got your phone robbed and then you like go on the app and you can check it on the database and it's like, it's at this address. And you can like go there and confront the person that's taking your phone. Like what happens in real life. Bro, that's actually cool. sick. And then like <laughs> people read the phone and then fucking. And then like, honestly, you could do even more like criminal grief where like you then go fucking throw to the uh, ocean, dump the phone. <laughs> and they have to go try to find it and stuff. At least you know they'll get it back get once it. you're done with it. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, people would, people would creep each other. They'll ocean dump the fucking <laughs> phone, bro. Oh my god. Be out if an owl is trying to find it. Oh shit. 100%. Um we talked a little bit about this uh client brought it up a little bit earlier. I kind of wanted to come back to it. Yeah. Um how's it been with like uh with chases? Uh we talked a little bit about like chase dynamics or like cop dynamics, the whole pitting, tasing, uh cuffing stuff. Um I liked your take client. It's weirdly enough. It's almost like the same. It's in the same theme of the take that you had about uh, the fucking G6 trucks where it's like less pits, but make them more of like a, it's like an impactful moment. It's like, Hey, they went for a pit here. Okay. They missed. And then there's almost like a, like a soft cool down. If they're not just going to like, okay, immediately go and try it again. So it like creates yeah. more sort of like moments in the chase. Yeah. I mean, I just feel like, yeah, the, there's nothing wrong with pitting. Don't get me wrong. I mean, like, as a cop, you have to pit. Because, like, if a chase is going on for 20 minutes and, like, you know, they're not crashing, what, what are you gonna, how are you going to catch them? Right? Mm -hmm. you, you have to pit or spike. But um, it's just a, yeah, it's just a spam pitting that, I, you know, I'm like, because I feel like it takes away from the chase if you're just spam pitting someone. Like, you, how can you drive away if, I, if you're just pitting and then 10 seconds I'm pitting again? 
But uh, yeah, I mean, yeah. I, th I, I like think the new the health sure. system makes a big difference to that as well. Because you die oh, so yeah. much easier now than you ever did before, right? You could, the you amount could of get times you get out with a die. broken leg from a chase. Yeah. I think I've been Actually, down to wanna, a couple times. Can I, I want to bring something up to Sab real quick. I don't know if you are aware of this. Yeah, now. let's just start complaining to Sab, actually. This is the best part. No, no, but this is... <laughs> no, actually, though. No, so basically, I don't know if you guys experienced it. I've experienced this a few times, and so I have, like, CG, basically. But if you're in a car, if you're in the driver's seat or the passenger seat, it doesn't matter, and you get tased, you, like, you go under the car. Like, you get glitched under the car, it's and it really kills weird. you. Yeah, and yeah. It, Taser does some dam damage to you as well. Uh, if no, you get no, tased, but, like, yeah, yeah. two, three times, it does damage your leg. It fucks you up. Mm. So, yeah. that, I, the problem is, like, I don't know how some, sometimes we can pull people out of the cars without being either decent key or buggy. Because it does get very awkward, right? If I tase you out of the car, you go under it, and then you're downed. Is that really fair to you? Is that fun? Do, do it, should I just revive you at that point, or do we just roll the punches? Like, what do we do, right? It, it gets very awkward in that territory. Mm. Yeah, it's kind of the same I, thing with um with, with desync, right? When like if you're a passenger and someone's driving, like on your screen, you like hitting pause, and you end up breaking your leg right in the chase, and then you're just kind of like sitting there with a broken leg. Yeah, you're fucked. So what do you do? Do you stick the L on that one, or do you just hey, can we take a time out? Can somebody repair my leg, and then we can continue the chase? I mean, I yeah, yeah, it's awkward. You know what I mean? I get what you mean. Yeah, yeah it's, it's always to just I it used to happen like that, like. Back in the day, like, you know, you would, like, people would revive if scuff happened, but it does make it awkward. I understand that. But I feel like it happens too often. Like, it's happened to me. It's happened to Kay. It's happened to Rami. It's happened to, like, it happens all the time. You know what I mean? So it's like, every time you get tased out of a car, you die. It's like, you know, it does I, get I, a little annoying. Mm. I don't know if there's a fix to that. Like, I don't know if you, I don't know. That might be reporting. like a GTA. I mean, I think it's more, it's just, it's a desync of how the person exits the car. Yeah. And then sometimes just uh, how the taser works and the damage it does. Dude, it it sucks, but it's almost like... Yeah, I feel like reviving people on scene just kills the immersion. But the, rea but the reality yeah. is it's like... And maybe this is like we as... Or like criminals, we just have to like accept this. That's like, you, you're just going to get fucked by... Like, cause the, and, and, but maybe it's like it's having that empathy then from the cops perspective, especially with sent like this is why I, I like I wonder, Sab, is it weird to like request like some sort of like <laughs> I don't even like, for instance, in in court RP, they do this mm. thing where uh, whatever it is, uh, it's the objection weird or objection. Right. Keep right. the mechanics at Mosley's, which is yeah, uh, forehead Louis client. This is basically we learn um, you can't. uh Argue, like sometimes you can't argue weird mechanics they just won't let you do it in in court because they're like it's a fucking yeah. gta mechanic don't argue yeah. i'm almost wondering I mean, if we if we could do a similar thing where it's like yo you're on a chase and you're a criminal and some scuff fucked you like i'm not saying let them go free but like just like there's like a like you know while you're reading out their charges like also like one degree of scufferoni or something which is going to reduce your time and fine like literally just some like little like quick like i feel like at that point, it's past the scene, and it's like an, it doesn't break my immersion as much because now we're in the cells or like just something that like scuff. I've done that. I've done that. I've, 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 I've chased after people that are limping. They're like they're, they're basically running like this, you know. They're like walking <laughs> like that, and, and I'm like, brother, just surrender. I'll I'll drop you a charge, and most of them do actually. They're just walking like that. I mean, yeah, I don't think you had to do a charge of like scuff or or whatever, but I I think the 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 easiest fix to to scuff. Honestly, is I don't listen. I don't mind going to jail because of scuff. You know, it happens. It's not my. It's not in my control. It's not in Sab's. It's not in anybody's control, right? But it's like if you know I went down only because of scuff, at least take it easy on me. You know what I mean? Like don't fuck me. 100%, 100%, yeah, like if we. You know, some I, cops I do though. A lot of cops do that. No, no some cops do, but sometimes they. I'm not saying they fuck you, but they just hit you like like it didn't happen. You get what I'm saying? They just hit you. They hit you like it just didn't happen. All I'm asking is is. If I go down to scuff, right, you realize that and you just maybe lower my, my time by a lot or maybe drop a few charges. That's it. That's all. I mean, that's all I'm asking. It doesn't have to be like, oh, let me go or revive me or anything. You know well, what 100%, I mean? 100%. When I saw the, the fucking K chase where uh, 
he had the scuba tank and the scuba tank scuffed out. Oh yeah. That right. one, that mm. one killed me, dude. I was like, oh, and like at that point, like, but again, it's like, what do you do? Like, do you revive him and give him another scuba tank? Right? Like you can't do that. So like, that's one where I'm like, man, they just should have been like, you know, I, I don't know. It, it It's tough, but like, I almost feel like there should be like a, I'm almost like an OOC agreement of, you know, amongst the PD of like, Hey, when there is like obvious scuff involved, we reduce the sentence, reduce the fine. It doesn't even have to be what a crazy it, amount. What if yeah. you can request a scuff revive as a crim during a situation? It pops up to, to the cop. Would you no, agree yeah. to the scuff? If the answer, it's like a, it's like a yes with a check mark and X with a no. <laughs> it's like like in, it's like the Glad embrace the team. Emotes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> And then if he says yes, they both agree to it, Mr. Cake is revived and it continues to roleplay. Yeah. And I, I mean, listen, the thing is, is that, you know, cops experience scuff too. You know what I mean? Like head pops or stuff like that. But if we're being honest and we're being truthful, I mean, scuff mainly fucks criminals over. Because as a cop, let's be real sad. I mean, I, I, like I said, I'm get lucky once. No... We should get lucky once. That's it, man. That's all it is. Yeah. As a cop, I mean, what do you lose? Like, re realistically, what do you... And, and I'm speaking from experience. What do you lose as a cop, right? If Nothing. You, if, I mean, I mean, I mean, you don't lose much as a cop. The only part that really sucks, honestly, is just um, you just want the chase. You just want the chase to be yeah, fun. Yeah, hundred percent. Right. Yeah, hundred percent. Yeah, it's just content. But, but like a, a random like, and the other thing is like, it's just a numbers game, right? A random local spawns in front of a cop. Um, there's still like two other cops probably on that chase. Random local spawns in front of the fucking crim and they've ejecto seat out. That's nah, over, you know. Mm. Yeah, but I do think it's like, oh man, I, I hate, I hate the reviving idea though. I, I don't. It's just so just break weird. The scene and yeah, it is, it is, it is weird. Yeah, I think the leniency though on like, if you know someone's been arrested because of something like that, leniency is probably the best thing you can do in a scenario, right? Like, I don't really see anything else you can do. It depends what you yeah. class as scuff, because I feel like ghost locals are so common. Like, would you even? Yeah, that I mean, was the time. That goes, that. Like, that goes both ways. Yeah. It's more of like, okay, you're in the car, I tase you, you get out, all of a sudden you're under the car, you're, you're done, and then that's it, you're caught. Like, what are you supposed to do at that point? It's, you're screwed, right? Yeah. There's not yeah. much you can do about that. Um, also, I just want to briefly pause to say, this is my worst transition I've done yet. Um, if you guys are enjoying the criminal perspective on this, well, why don't you go and hear the cop perspective on it as well? That's right. Role play podcast on all of your favorite applications, YouTube, Spotify, etc. And we even have an episode where you can hear from those dirty cop mains and hear from their perspective on all this stuff. Uh, thank you so much. And also as a note to my chat, uh, for the love of God, stop arguing with each other. You guys are not on no pixel. You are not in a gang. They don't know you, little bro. Stop arguing for your for the fucking characters. Like no one, like just relax, guys. You're not in the crew. They don't know you. Anyways, um, <laughs> I got a question, but I want to be ready. Yeah, yeah. All right. what, what's your question, Sam? My question to the crims: What would it take to stop swaps? Or is that, is that a reality mm. we must accept? It is here to stay. That is part of GTA RP criminal world. It just, it is there. It's never going to go away. It just, it's there. Is that something I, I must accept? Is that reality? Uh, mm. Yeah, I think that's like, I think that's like going back to the chase, right? Of like what cops did during chases. I don't think swaps would go away. But I feel like uh, when the client mentioned like pitting, like let's say there's a chase and the, it's like a, it, a chase, like cops are chasing a van with four people, four people inside. There's even a single swap. They keep pitting it. It's like, like I feel like at that point you shouldn't be pitting, right? But if you're chasing someone that's constantly swapping, I think that's when cops should go hard on pits and stuff. You know, I don't, I don't think swaps will not be a thing. In my, in my opinion, I don't yeah. think you can stop them. I think you can prolong or like draw out the chases. Like I'd say, if a chase starts to get aggressive, like as soon as you see a car smoking. Most of the time, you can assume gonna, someone's going to try to set something up, right? Like, have some sort of backup. I feel like the chase is less aggressive, the more inclined to drive for longer. Yeah, I don't I think it, I don't think you'd ever get around swaps though. Yeah, I, I'm gonna be honest. I agree. I don't think swaps will ever stop. 
But I think it's also about, like, for example, there's many times where I've been, like, in an absolutely horrendous car that goes 80 miles per hour. And then I'll get, like, four units on me. So it's like, yeah. If, yeah. I, if I'm in a terrible car, okay, and, and you got four units on me, like, what can I, how am I going to lose you? No, you I get, get what that. I'm saying. I, get, I have to swap. That. Right, I get yeah. that. But, uh, but I get what you mean. It, it gets annoying. I, I know exactly what you mean. Trust me, because, I mean, I've done it. I'll be honest. I know exactly what you mean. Like, uh, if it's like a, you know, let's say you're chasing like an actual car that goes fast and then, you know, they're just swapping over and then they swap again and they swap again. And it's just like, you're just bored at, like, it's just too many times. Yeah. I mean, I feel like, I've, go ahead, yeah. sorry. No, no, go ahead, go ahead. I've had Chase where there's like a five car swap. Like, how do you deal with something like that? Like six people, you start with six people and then and end up with one person because everybody just got dropped off eventually. So how do you combat something like that? Right. I feel like I, that, when that happens, you just gotta yeah, get. Like, that's when you just get aggressive. I mean, like if I, they've swapped five times. I mean, I said the thing about constant pitting, but I feel like if you, if I've swapped five times, at that point I kind of like, you know, if you're if you just pit the fuck out of me, you you just. I mean, at that point I kind of understand it. I'm not gonna lie. Like you know what I mean? Like you just go very aggressive. Well, what does know, that mean? Than... Because like I don't want to shoot. Like imagine if I we said, we said okay tomorrow there's a new SOP. After the third swap, you shoot them. At that point, at that point, it's too reckless. The chase is just too reckless, right? Criminals will find out in game, and they'll know, boys. We have the third swap. Get ready for an ambush. We're about to shoot first. Why let them shoot first, right? We want the element of surprise. And they turn into a bloodbath, a shootout every single time. Uh, I mean, but why? Like, I feel like you could just make it like, oh, shoot you swap tires. more than two times, you shoot tires. Yeah, like you, yeah, you, could you do swap more than two times, you you shoot tires. Yeah. Oh, I love. I, hey, this is you could give a warning, like, yo, if you shoot, if you swap more than two times, we're gonna shoot your tires, bro. Like, you I, know what I mean? At that point, two swaps is like shooting tires enough, is I sick. I, this is why the, I, I racers hate me for this take, but I love when people shoot tires. I think it's dope. I, I just like I, I I don't know. I just think it looks satisfying yeah, but, to see the tires pop out. I and then, and then if you can get out with the fucking car with the no tires and you have to do some other crazy, I that's sick. But I shoot tires. I'm escalating. The criminals escalate and shoot me back. Yeah. What happens now, right? It's in promote shootouts. It's, shootout. so, it's yeah. in promote shootouts, right? Uh, I guess. The, and this is okay. This is where I, I'm sorry, forehead Louis client. This is why I have to bring in actual criminals because this is where I'm like empathetic to to cops. Um, bro, I. Like, obviously, swaps are necessary, but, man, like, I hate the, like, at some point, like, it's just, like, wh why are we doing our, like, fourth, fifth swap, man? Like, you know, like, at some point, I'm, like, I, I feel like the criminals just need to, like, do something better. Like, either have set up a block. I would rather be shot. I would rather or, be ambushed and shot. Okay, I'm going to tell you right now, straight up. Yeah, like, le like, we, we, like, come on, like, at, at a certain point, it's just fucking annoying. Like, it's just, right like, now, one hundred percent. Sorry, go ahead. I mean, yeah, go ahead. We the, one thing I would say though, I feel like right now that that you can't correct me if I'm wrong, but you like can't rent boats and like other means like that at the moment, right? Because I feel like some you like three point oh. Yeah, you can't like. Yeah. I'd say that some of the ways that people would tend to spice up their swaps and make it a bit more like of a cool plan, you can't do right now. Yeah. So maybe that's why swaps are a bit more. I mean, Call them yeah. potentially. I don't blame I you guys, by the way. I, like, I'm not judging anybody. I don't blame you guys. I'm, it's effective. It worked. You're a criminal. Your goal mm. is to escape, right? But I'm trying to find it to where it's like fun and fair for both sides, where it doesn't feel like it's always one sided, right? Because if you're not having fun, I'm not having fun, then you're not going to see a lot of car chases and they're going to turn into more aggro because we're both frustrated in character. It's going to bleed in character, right? Yeah. I mean, I could tell you exactly why people do car swaps. I feel like the reason why is because I forgot what, what are those points called where if you get three strikes, they. VAF? Uh, yeah, VAF. So there's VAF points, right? So nowadays, nobody's going to be using personal cars because it's not worth it. If you Those strikes never go away. So if you give me those strikes and I get three of them, you take the car, you sell it. So I'm not going to use my personal car, right? Since I'm not going to use my personal car, what I'm going to use is a stolen car. So then I go grab a Maserati, which is a decent car, but the top speed is 110 or 115, right? And then you have charges on you that go 180 and break through everything right they don't ever like for example if i crash like two times in the maserati it'll start smoking the charger the charger crashes two times it's gonna keep going you don't like because like, i don't have a Taurus charger or, i forget the exact names but the reason there's a lot of swaps is because criminals have to use stolen cars that are shit right or not shit maserati's not shit but are just not as 
nowhere near as good as the cop cars, right? So if you if you're in a car that goes 180, turns at a speed of, speed of light, and you ram a hundred things and you don't smoke, it's like how am I gonna lose you? I have yeah. swap to lose you. You get yeah, what I'm that, saying? I have. Yeah, to no, swap. that's fair. That that is fair. If your car is shit, you know, there's not much you can do about that, right? Because driving a straight line, you're not gonna lose them, right? But how would you feel if there was like stolen cars you could take that are like high end that you pay you know a few thousand for to drive for the day? Would that fix the problem? He keeps no, leaking, no, you keep hell? leaking this, man. We're waiting for this. Sad Wait, so I, keep, I, I'm, I'm, I keep pitching it every single bro, day. Just man. message it. Just message Coil, man. Please, we're waiting for <laughs> say, that. Say that again, Sam. <laughs> so there'll be like a base. You know how there's like a rental? Yeah. But this rental mm. is like it's like it's hot. It's got hot cars, and these like, cars are basically uh. stolen cars that people bring from shopping or people. It could be Ooh. an option. You, you could drop the car there for the rental place or you could chop it off of materials one can pay you more money because you dropped the whole car and the criminal comes in and borrows that car and using the crime but it's like a porsche but it's stolen but you can only have it for the storm so you can use it for heist you can use it for your plans and then you can ditch it and don't have to worry about coming back for the car and the stolen car and then you pay maybe like two three thousand a day for it okay and this rental spot would be like illegal right yeah it'd be like a hot spot somewhere like an, out in the county like hidden yeah i think, I think that would be idea. good but i think yeah Okay, I think it'd be good if you could only have it for like, let's say an hour. So not everyone's driving around in these fuck these high end yeah. cars all yeah. day, you know. Or to yeah. it's it's an hour for a job. It's a money sink, right? It should be. You should, even if you want to drive around with it, I mean, it's gonna cost you like what four or five grand. If you want to spend that much money on it, it's up to you. Yeah, it's like something you do because you like. Oh, well, like we're we're hitting like a fucking cash exchange. We need like a good car. I mean, I I think I think having good local cars is one solution. Um. On the note of swaps, and this is like, I feel like for the viewers, for chat to understand this, I don't think all of us are saying like swaps are bad. There's a type of swap and a number of swaps that is just, it's just too much, right? Like, I feel like if, and yes, correct if I'm wrong, if I'm doing some job, doing one swap, it's fine, maybe even two, but if it's like a planned spot, I think where it gets crazy is where it's like, this is, you know, we have... One person got out and they just keep going back in, new car, boom, bop. And we're, it's almost like a, a race of attrition where the cop cars are breaking down and the criminals have now just like, and they're not even, I think uh, for some of the criminals, it's almost lazy. It's like, they're not even planning like, yo, jump over a wall here. It's like, yo, middle of this intersection, hop in this new car. They get out, hop in the new car, drive, chase continues. That car gets beat up, new car comes in. Yo, middle of this intersection, hop in this new car. I, and I say this as like, you know, I literally watched a company chase where they did this. And I was like, oh my God, like, it just, I was like, what are we watching? Like, it was like the fifth, sixth swap going on. That's, I think the kind of level of swaps is just too much. I think, uh, I think another reason for the swaps is, and not like actual like ideas is, um, a lot of people are hitting stuff. Like for example, the laundromat or the cash exchange, and they get a new USBs or a new stick or something. Right. And they want to secure that item. So they want to make sure they get mm. away. Right. So that. Oh, yeah. You know, being as creative with the plans to like actually have a fun chase, you just want to get out to secure whatever they're getting, you know? Because so that's yeah, another reason. Because it's about progression, right? Because if you, if you yeah, yeah, don't exactly, get that yeah. out, right, you're going to fall behind yeah. and you're not able to, yeah. get, you know, I, I get that. I get that. Like, I, I get like, I get like saving one person to make sure they get away with the loot. That happens all the time. In fact, I can tell you when we do, we do like cash change and um, uh, what's the other, laundromat robbery, we catch maybe two to three people max. Sometimes we get all four or six. It's a miracle. And that happens, we can probably dance because it, it, we've done the impossible. But most of the times, it's two to three max. So we don't catch everybody. We did, um, one thing that is cool that you can do now as well is like the handoffs, right? Because before you couldn't get an item out of your pocket and just hand it to someone. So some of the swaps we've done is like, we'll stop the car, run for a building. There'll be someone in disguise in the building. You hand off the thing you're trying to save to that person and then they'll get in a second car. But like there's ways you can do swaps that are less just trying to get away with the item. Like, I think that mechanic adds a lot to do it. I don't, like even throwing stuff, you can like throw stuff out the window onto like a roof or something or have someone waiting up there. Do shit like that. Do you see that as like the same level as swaps or do you think that's better? Doing the handovers. I feel like, I feel like it's better. Cause at the end of the day, like the, like, I've, I, maybe I, I don't know from the cop POV. I mean, from, from my perspective, watching some of these jobs i'm like i just am I, I like lose my i'm like losing my mind after like the like fourth or fifth swap i'm like why like why is this going on um so yeah i think as long as it's like continuing the chase like in a good way i, I think it's always good yeah you no know, 
You know what I actually liked and I miss? You know how cop cars used to have modes? Like S plus, A, yeah, uh-huh. B, Uh B, A plus. Honestly, like, I feel like that's a good idea. Because, like, like I said, right? If I'm in a stolen car, that shit. I mean, there's nothing you could do about making your car worse because you're in a Taurus. I mean, it's just good. Like, what can you do about it? But though, that I feel like the modes thing allowed, like, that exactly what I'm mentioning. Where, like, okay, they're in a shit, not a shit car, but just a car that's nowhere near as good as ours. We go in a different mode that's similar to theirs, and then it's kind of fair. You know what I mean? And at that point, it's like, all right, we're actually on a similar playing field. I mean, obviously, cops are always going to have the upper hand, but, you know, we're it's a lot similar. So I can actually lose these cops. Now, you see what I'm saying? So if there was modes like that again, I feel like that'd be good. But I don't know. That's my opinion. I have a, I have a spicy question for, for you three. How do you guys feel about uh, uh, going back for the boys? Ooh. How, do you, how, do you guys, how do you guys feel about that? Because I'm... I'm gonna be with I'm 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 a I'm a fake crim on my take here. I I, and I have a question Ted on top of that usual. Yeah. And what I mean by going back for the boys is like if someone's cuffed and you go back to put them in the yeah. car. Yeah. Yeah. Or or just like no man left behind kind of mentality. Um. Uh, I think I think it's good when it makes sense. Um. You know what I mean? Like if it makes sense to do it, then do it. But I think cops uh, cops now. I think it's good that a uh, if you try to push one in a car, they beat you down now, right? Like that's just right. how it goes. Right, yeah. And I think I feel like if you just rob the laundromat and someone got one of your boys got caught and he has nothing on him, I mean, just leave him behind, you know. This is what it is. I don't think like everyone has to be rescued. I think there's cool planned ways of doing it, right? But I guess it, I don't know if it, if it's just someone's in cuffs, you try to pull up and seat them, and you know there's like six, seven cops there. So like, probably best to just be like, yeah, it's a lost cause. It all depends. Like, mm. if you go up and there's maybe one cop there, maybe it makes sense. But if you pull up and there's four cops, five cops, and you're still trying to rescue him, mm. it, it, it's, it's all, it just all depends. There's no cuffs now either, right? So even if you get your boy out and he's in cuffs, you then have to... You gotta go do to the, just some RP yeah, thing. Cop go, or to something, you know? go to the vanilla yeah. unicorn, the classic, yeah. <laughs> um, I'll be honest, I feel like... I get, I get exact... Like, the no man behind or whatever... I feel like it feels like right now the chance of you rescuing someone that was caught it's like almost zero percent yeah, it's slim yeah it's very slim with that being said i don't i don't think it should be high but i also think there should be you know a chance of rescuing your friend i think there should be a chance right now it feels like there's almost zero percent chance of rescuing somebody it is almost impossible to rescue one of your friends right i feel like it should be it should feel like you can but it's you know a h higher than zero percent basically because to me it feels like zero like if i hop out and try to put someone in the car they're gonna beat me down there's almost no way to rescue someone like dude, you you literally almost cannot mm. right i feel like it should it, it should feel like there's a mm. better chance basically is what i'm trying to say also depends what the person you're trying to save is going to be going in for right like say it's one of your boys and he's got a nines amount of drugs on him or some shit but like in that scenario, there's more of a reason to try to go back and save him than if it's just like a speed insecure or something dumb. Yeah, Louis, Louis yeah, that's, like, my, well, that's my take on it. It's like if 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 your boy is like caught for like some heavy fucking shit, then then I think it makes sense. But like, yeah. or like they had like some nasty warrant nines weed, then yeah. I actually think one of the things I don't know if people have noticed this. I think one of the things that they did to discourage this. I mean, this is, Quick take, but I think the devs made it so that the progression side of uh, crims is not seized by cops. Uh, dongles are not like dongles from the laundromat and stickers yeah. uh, from the cash exchange are not seized. So I actually think they, and, and I think some of the crims are still maybe getting used to that, but like, yo, you can get caught with those and I think you'd still fine. Am I right on that? Maybe I'm wrong. I know that's I know. definitely on the stickers. I don't know about the USBs. I always thought the USBs was taken. I might be wrong. Yeah, USBs were making progress in that. Oh, the, oh, that's because the, the, are are the cops are trying to solve the rainbow. That's why. Sorry. Correct. Correct. Yeah. Um, oh, they are seizing them. Oh, I for a while I thought they weren't seizing them. Right. So, oh, uh, well, well, just kidding. We've had some we've had some information on them. Um, regarding them. Oh, but so you used to you used to not, but now that you got like an unlock, yes. Video? Eventually, uh, people people give us unlock. Yeah, it took a while. It took like a month. Mm. Yo, I got a question real quick. Um, Sab, how 
Can I ask you, okay, how are spikes meant to be used? Uh, spikes are meant to be used as one, as a deterrent or a way to stop a vehicle. Um, they, they, in my opinion, I'm gonna give you my hot take. They should not be deployed like banana peels on the ground. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah, I mean, that's... And, just... and they should not be deployed under the car too as well. Think about it, right? Because when you're placing down the spike strips, the role play behind it, it rolls, right? So how does the, how does the spike roll through the car, go under it, and then all of a sudden, it's, you know, it just it's there without yeah. causing damage, right? So, uh, for me, spike strips should be done in a way to where it's in front of the car, behind the car, enough distance, or da you know, up the road, down the road, or the way to where you can do like a uh, like a seat control to where they're laying down next to barriers so people can see them. Yeah, I mean, I'm just asking because, I mean, the way I've seen spice, I mean, obviously this is in real life, but the way I've seen, I've seen them being used is like you know there's a chase going on and you think you know where they're about to go so you set up park your car and you get out and you get ready to you just stand there i mean that's just i mean that's just how it is you stand there right. and wait till they're about to come pa come by and you just throw them right. right right and you call it out i mean that's the way i see spikes being used right but it feels right. like sometimes i mean it's happened i don't know if it's happened to me in 4.0 but no i've seen it yeah it's happened to me in 3.0 a lot like where they, you're just literally, you're literally parked, or you're not even parked, but you're just right next to the cops, are running around on foot, and then just start throwing them everywhere. And it's just yeah. like that should not happen. It should be plenty of distance in between. If they do throw it in front of you when they're when on foot, it should be plenty of distance to where because there's placement, right? Because you don't want it to magically appear in front of you. Then there needs to be a bit of space to where it's like not just like comes out of nowhere and then boom, spikes in the ground. That's yeah. why we tell people go in front of the car, give it some distance, and then try to spike exits. Don't don't just spike in front of them. Try to be more tactical with it. And a lot of people just tunnel too much, and that's the problem. I, I think on the note, like, we've talked about shooting tires and then, like, now talking about spikes. I almost wish, and like, here's here's my design pitch. If any of the no-pixel designers want to make this, I feel like they uh, they should have a different item than spike strips. And the only reason, I'm not saying get rid of spike strips, but, like, because, again, one of my issues is whenever we go to, like, real life and then come back to GTA, my biggest issue is like, yeah, like spike strips work in real life because you can't just like YOLO these cars off road, right? Like a lot, like we're, we're in GTA and we can like, you know, as vulnerable or as weak as the cars are, we can just fucking go up on a curve, avoid the spike, go off road, nothing happens, right? You watch like a, a car in real life do any of that and the car just get like you, or even like jumps or anything like that. Like if a car takes a jump, it a five foot jump, it breaks the axle and it's just done, right? Now, I'm not saying that we should have it be that realistic, but I'm almost like, I don't want like, like I wish, for instance, what I wish the PD has, I wish you guys had like a spike ball that you guys had to fucking try to throw at the tires. Kind of like shooting the tires, but way less accurate. Like a bolo? Yeah, like some fucking like, I, it'd be really cool if you guys had like, a, like something that could let you spike tires offensively, but was a pretty high skill check, like fucking throw something at the fucking, and that way it doesn't escalate to shooting either because you didn't pull out a gun. That'd be fucking sick. Like some sort of like, I don't know, thing that you throw at the fucking cars. That'd be dope. Uh, Maybe no, I, mean, sounds, I don't know. Yeah, I, I mean, I feel, I feel like that'd be very hard to like implement. I don't know. Maybe, it wouldn't maybe be not. So decent key though. That's the only problem. Yeah, it'd be so. It'd be like yeah. very weird to do. Yeah. Yeah. The problem hard. is, I feel like the way that spikes are used defensively, it's it's just pretty rare to like see them used. Well, I use them for scene control. The, the way it should be done is like one of stars. Every cop should treat every criminal like one of stars. How hard should we go based on how much they've done? And that's how much the scene control should be like, right? If you've done some like violent crimes and you got three, four stars, I'm going to put down spikes and barriers to control the whole entire scene, right? And I'm going to be more proactive as far as my policing. But if you just ran from a traffic stop, you had a stolen car and we just caught you, that's like a one or two stars. I'm just going to chill with you, talk to you, get your medical. Yeah. If anything happens, happens, right? Yeah, I mean... The way I saw it used that I actually liked, you know, I think it was Forehead that was getting chased by cops. And uh, it was, uh, I think it was Denzel, right? Denzel set up in some alleyway by the south side. And I think because he knew it was Forehead, I don't know, I don't know how exactly it happened, but he like set up and just had them already laying there, knowing that Forehead was probably going to come through that alleyway. And I think yeah. Forehead came through it and uh, he spiked them or something, right? Forehead? Is that how it went? Yeah, yeah so I take, you know, I tend to take the same routes when I get away from cops, like a lot of times, right? Denzel knows them. So he just set up spikes in like the common routes I'll take. And like he spiked the car, which is really good, you know? 
Yeah, I'm jealous of criminals because you can spike cops so much easier than cops can spike criminals. Because you have to, they follow you, right? You can take them to any in the alley, any corner, and they just turn, boom, they're yeah. done. True. Yeah, I did that today actually. Um, the uh, there, there was a cop that tried to spike us, and uh, he ended up getting knocked over, and he went down. And I ended up seeing the spikes, and then the same chase tried to spike the cops, and ended up spiking Ming, and he flew out the car and hit a wall. So <laughs> didn't quite go. <laughs> <laughs> God damn! I mean, yeah, Spikes crims have the upper hand on. Properly. Yeah, I mean, crims have the upper hand on cops in a lot of scenarios, you know, because you got the element of surprise the cops don't have, but cops have numbers, yeah. and you know, how do you, how do you have feel the element about, of surprise? Yeah, every time. How, how do you feel about the rule of six compared to rule four? Uh, I'm gonna be honest. I feel like six sometimes sometimes feels like it's too much. It is. It is. Yeah. I feel like you know what would be nice if they made a lot of the cars five seaters and made it a roll of five. Would that be hard or bad? No, that's possible, but it would require a lot of just um, change a lot of like the the new cars. The cars yeah. The basic GTA cars will be four, so somebody will go in the trunk. Uh, I feel like it really depends on what, right? Before. I think for certain things a roll of six is good, and then for certain other things roll of four is better, right? It just depends, like what it comes. Like I feel like for gang and turf raid stuff, like, I think roll of six is better. And then for like police chase and other stuff, maybe rule of four. I think it just it just depends. I feel like, or for like a big heist, you could do six. Yeah, I, I was gonna say I feel like if it's a it, like if there's certain heists, there's six. Like they could even like lock that, like or sort of suggest that in the HQ app, which heists are like a four man heist versus like six. Yeah. yeah. Um. Yeah. The other reason I liked four is I feel like the role plays actually is better. Like when you have four people, it, there's like it's kind of less voices, a little bit less dank, and it feels more. Like honestly, just the dialogue is better. It's more you gotta intimate. plan more too. Yeah, yeah. you gotta yeah. plan more, right? You can't just you gotta be more smart about things because you just don't have six people to help. I mean, two extra to help you. But um, I feel like five. I I think five is a sweet spot though. Like imagine just having every car being five and then having five people. I feel like that'd be good. Way better. I mean, Way better. I, yeah, I would love Seth, five also, actually. Yeah, I feel like the reason cool. like a lot of swaps happen and stuff like that too is also because there's a rule of six and you literally can only have four in a car. True. So yeah. if yeah, you're I mean, doing a job, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. you're always going to have people outside. The outside and, yeah. yeah, and then it's like people not included. So like, for example, if I wanted to have six people on a job, but I wanted, I don't, I don't, I don't want to have a plan. I just want to drive away from cops. Just have a nice chase. You know what I mean? Correct, yeah. I wouldn't be able to do that because it'd be a four-seater. So two people would have to sit outside 100%. Yeah, I mean, it's awkward in the beginning to chase. Sometimes you have two cars and we have to ch chase two cars at the same time, right? Yeah, yeah. And yet you, you have to you have to separate, and it's like two active chases going on at once. Most yeah. cars are four seater as well, right? So you get people with a, with a two in the trunk, which always makes things awkward anyway. Yeah. If it was four or five, then you can have one in the trunk, four in the car, or four. I think it makes yeah. it smoother. I've never experienced it, but but no pixel used to be four, right? Like yeah, way back when. I would. Yeah. Yeah. I would even. What just was it like, like back then? Good. It was good. Uh, the reason why I like rule of five or, or like having five or six or like, and maybe like to four at points, like, yo, if it's like, if it's gang versus gang shit, by the way, with gang versus gang shit, I actually don't even, I don't like the rule of six. Actually. I think with gang versus gang shit, I, I love scenes. Like, I mean, like Louie had this scene with, uh, Klein, I don't even know. I don't know if you were there with CG, but the whole scene with the manor and Chang gang, was fucking sick because there were so many people and it wasn't the scene wasn't about mm -hmm. who's gonna win the 6v6 right the scene was about gang versus gang right and it made it way like cooler that there were so many people involved in it uh i think as long as people are respecting the rp you don't i, I don't I, I just never want to see fucking six versus six arena shooter shit so that's why i'm like i'm more okay if it's like bigger numbers versus smaller numbers i think with a heist the reason why i love the rule of six for heist is because it just lets you do cool plans. Like as soon as you can have like extra people, you can do some crazy shit. Yeah, hundred percent. I mean, I get what you mean by the way with the the gang versus gang, but I feel like six is just better in general because like imagine you do a gang versus gang, right? You have ten people, or however many, right? And you do something, and then the cops show up. Just imagine it from the cops' point of view, trying to deal with twenty people. Trying to, you know, in a gang war, like yeah, it would just be true. absolutely, it would just it's be chaos. crazy. Yeah, chaos, you wouldn't be yeah. able to. Mm. I mean, six. I mean, imagine a six v six, right? Like that's already twelve people you got to deal with as a cop. So even that would be crazy. 
so I, I get what you mean. It would be dope to do like you know you have a bunch of people like in each gang and you just you know do some stuff. But if cops show up, it's just cook for them. I feel like context matters a lot as well because that whole thing you're talking about at a cul-de-sac it's like because it was just like a gang to gang meeting i feel like you can get away with having like 15 on each side but if it's like more like client said something where the cops is going to get involved then you it has to be limited yeah, right? but the, yeah but the thing is meetings can always pop off i mean it was just a meeting and then it popped off you know what i mean like imagine we shot or something mm. and then cops would up yeah in, and we had 15 people on each side it'd be like a little crazy you know what i mean but, yeah that was nice though, because there was no guns as well. I think that's like I feel like the big groups when you've got no guns and it's like a brawl. Yeah, that yeah, was that's gonna be quite oh. cool. Yeah, if there's no guns, it's a lot better. Yeah, then yeah. then the, like a fifteen v fifteen, like that'd be cool. Maybe that's why like, the balls are fun. Involved. We had the company versus the Dan's, and it was like I'm pretty sure it was like fifteen v or I don't know. Maybe it was like maybe like twelve versus twelve, and it was just a massive <laughs> fucking brawl. Uh, yeah, <laughs> and that that was sick. So yeah, I mean like again. I, 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 guys, I have terrible takes sometimes, so I, I agree with you guys. I, I rescind my take. It's only cool if it's, like Louis said, if, if it's the right scene, I think it can be cool. Yeah. 100%. Yeah, I think brawls are always cool. I, I feel like you don't see enough of those. Like, it's always, like, shootouts is quite, was, was quite common and starting to get more common. I like the, the knife fights and melee fights in the right context. I feel like can be a quite, it's a nice middle ground before you get to that full-fledged, like, conflict area, right? I will most yeah. tension building and stuff. Hey, you gotta remember, most yeah. of us are American, man. We want to use our guns, okay? We're not. Yeah, just, oh, yeah. It's, it's not, not a UK thing, you know. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, true. Good point. I Bang, feel bang. like things get more serious when it's guns. You know what I mean? Like when it's yeah. knives and stuff like that, it's like, you know, it's cool. It's whatever, yeah. but yeah, it's yeah. cool. But when you use guns, I mean, it could be cool too, but it just gets serious. It's like, yo, this guy just gunned me down, robbed my gun, like, whatever, whatever. You know what I mean? Like, you, you'll take it a lot more serious. Basically, as, as a I mean, as a pseudo crim, I lo dude, I love guns in 4.0. I, I love like the scarcity and like the severity that they add to scenes. I think it's been really cool. Um, I don't know about you guys. If you feel like they're, I, I feel like they're a little scarce right now. Like just a, uh, like a little bit more on the scarce side. But I'd rather they be scarce than like, I don't know. In 4.0, I, I hated the days where it was like just walking around with fucking AK on your back. Sorry, forehead. I know you used to do that, but. <laughs> <laughs> I did like the drive-bys though. I feel like that was one thing that like class two is being gone kind of like drive by and with a Uzi with a van with like a yeah, sliding door fuck, always was pretty sick. cool to me. But yeah, yeah, no, that shit is cool. Yeah. I feel like it, it, it's like gives that South side feel as well. Right. Rather than like, bro, a single, kind of one a single shotgun. Yeah. Single shotgun and a drive-by is so, ugh, like, uh, man, yeah. as soon as it's off. Gotta bring, we need Dracos back, man. 2.0 Dracos. Yeah. Yeah, like imagine owning like a 24-7 on Ansel's Boulevard and then you're like the owner of that uh, business and then you pissed off a gang and they pull up and they do like a drive-by with Uzis on your whole entire store and the whole bullet's just going into the store like that. That would be pretty sick. Yeah. <laughs> bro, why do you say things like, oh, you, bro, you, this reminds me of, of oh, like Buddha watching the trailer where he's like, maybe, maybe that'd be pretty sick. Why are you, why are you teasing us? I'm not. I'm, I'm just saying it'd be pretty cool. I'm just saying. That's all. That's all I'm saying. Mm. <laughs> Dropping hints. Would be cool. All right. Um. Listen, we have uh, kept you guys long enough. Um. We've got to go, and uh, I know all of you guys. We got to go and get back to. Uh, what do we do? The what? What are what do real criminals do these days? What's what's the day in the life of a real criminal? I don't. I don't. Um, my character is not a real criminal. Sorry. What, what, what are you guys' plans? Sell weed. All right, by the way, I, I, not to glaze you here, not because we're on stream, but I love the fact that you go out of your way to do creative plans for selling weed. I like how you interact with the locals. I see that shit all the time, so keep it up. Dude, your plans Thank have you. been fucking amazing. We, we, we literally have a joke now in the comeback. Like, I, I, like, my character, Mickey, feels like he's falling behind to uh, the besties because you guys are... I, my character doesn't give a fuck about hitting the jobs first. My character cares about doing the cool plans first. So the fact that you guys have been doing it, like trying to do a train plan pisses me off because I'm, that's where I try to be first is with the cool plans. And so, I mean, good shit, man. Oh, you like the, the train plans. Good. I like it. Did it work? Didn't I, work I didn't though. get to see. Oh, it didn't work. That looks yeah, hard as fun to pull so off. Much. Looked at the phone and uh, the train came late. 
Honestly, uh, Klein has a lot of good ideas as well, though. Like, a lot of, a lot of times, I do stuff with Klein, and it's, it's his ideas, you know? He has a lot of good, uh, lot of good ideas, too. Or what are you that cooking up these days, you guys did was good. And W Glaze. What'd you say? What, what are you cooking up these days, Klein? What's, what's, what's new for Peanut in the Krim world? Man, I'm gonna be honest. I do, like, I don't even... A lot of times, I just be thinking about stuff on the spot and just doing random shit. Like, that's why I always do shit with Forehead, because I know he's on the same type of, like... Track card energy, vibe. basically? Yeah, like we like bro, we came up with the most dumb plan. Like we one time we were like selling hairlines and like repairing people's hairlines and like taking them to like <laughs> the barber shop. Like we were just in the hospital, we just dumb shit like that. And then a plan too that we did, some really creative plan that we did to rob G six with spikes. We had like an ambush. Just stuff like that. Like I feel like just doing robberies like that just makes it so much more interesting and for both sides too. Like imagine getting robbed like that. You know what I mean? Like you're doing G6 and out of nowhere a guy in a bush spikes you and then three people in bikes roll up on you and you just get robbed. Like that's sick. I would love to see it from their point mm -hmm. of view. But yeah, I mean, yeah. Coming up with plans like that just makes everything so much more fun. That's why I do it and that's why I do it with forehead too. I think I think everyone here and even and, and Louis, I've seen like, dude, your uh, Louis, your guys is ambush of chain gang was fucking sick. Like you guys had balls to Wait, do what that. Happened? What, what Bro, happened? They ambushed chain gang outside of like the, what was it? The, uh, it was the hunting, um, the hunting spot, like the sales spot the where clean, you, uh, the sales spot, where you clean the clean, fur and yeah, stuff yeah. like that. Yeah. They, like set up on the bridge above and like look down. Cause there was like some conflict with, with taco. So it was like the get back. Yeah. It was like a, like an ambush thing. Which is cool. Oh wait, I was there. Shit, never mind. Okay. Yeah, you were. Okay, yeah. You pulled up. You. I think you were the first to <laughs> spawn. Yeah. I'm yeah. <laughs> I, I feel like. Oh, shit. I, I feel like. Uh, you know. Wrapping up this episode is one of the things I, with all three of you, and, I, and again, we're 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 hard glazing here, but um, no, I mean, like, I think it's been really cool seeing people like doing more criminal role play as opposed to just like. You know, I, I think near the end of three point and this always sort of happens where it's like it feels more like we're just not role play we're like playing gta online and just like fucking playing an arcade game as opposed to like setting up cool plans setting up cool scenes ambushes whatever the case is so uh been loving it you three have been crushing it um with that being said i will go uh forehead louis uh and then well, the is asking chat oh. is asking about the trash bag robberies what is that oh yeah that was oh, great yeah. i saw the clips of oh. that that was real cool <laughs> can we get to explain real quick before we end yeah yeah tell them about it uh so we're robbing sanitation workers, right? And uh, we dressed up as trash bags and uh, like kind of like sat down next to other trash bags to bl blend in. And then when they would come to like pick you up, we'd like stand up and hold them up, you know? <laughs> Bro. You come up with some like fucking crazy plans for like, for, like petty the crime the Yeah, well, the worst thing is, is it actually works. They would, come, they would like come to try and pick you up and like, why can I not pick this trash bag? <laughs> Oh my god, dude. <laughs> that's amazing. Um, yeah, I saw that. That was cold. All right, forehead Louis client. Shout out your channel. Shout out the characters you play, and we'll uh, we'll wrap this one up. Forehead, you first. Uh, I go by forehead. Um, I role play a moron named Forehead. Thank you. Uh, thank you so much for having me on the podcast. What's the crew you you run with again? Uh, <laughs> for the one time. Nah, uh, well, she, I rather not name the crew. Yeah, I'd rather. You go. It's called. It's called the besties. <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> Damn, he said it. All right, <laughs> Louis, go ahead. Yeah, yeah I stream on uh, on my channel, Louis. I uh, play SK, and yeah, I just be doing dumb shit, pretending to be a gangster on the internet. Appreciate you guys for having me. Though it's been it's been good fun. Sparky. Yeah, that's Yo. me. Name's Client. I role play Peanut, and uh, thanks for having me, guys. I appreciate it, man. It was a fun I time. I want my turbo back. I didn't take it. <laughs> that shit's long sold. 99, <laughs> you asshole. <laughs> <laughs> all right, and I'm Blau, uh, and we also have our co host, uh, who is finally outnumbered by Crims on this episode. Sab? My name is Sab. I'm, uh, I'm Twitch.tv slash Sab, and I play as Captain Slacks and LSPD. Thank you. Awesome. Uh, guys, thank you so much for coming on the episode. We're going to be hosting more. This is, I, I called this the criminals episode, but obviously we're going to have a bunch, you know, we'll talk about new things when they come out, you know, whenever we can rob the casino, we'll talk about that. 
who knows right so uh thank you guys so much for coming on the role play podcast and uh yeah we'll have you guys on again you guys are all great thanks yeah appreciate we're good one, guys. you for having us thank you all these guys